Hi, I'm Dr. Polly Watson with Hormone Wellness MD. Today we're going to talk about detoxification. We've spent a lot of time talking about hormone balance within the body, but what about the things in our environment that can affect and interact with our hormones and cause change within our own balance? Things like fragrances, personal care products, and food packaging and plastics all can affect our hormones, and these are called endocrine disruptors. So let's first of all start off thinking about the personal care products you use and how those can affect your hormones. The average woman leaves the house with about 100 different chemicals on her skin. We use underarm deodorant, sunscreen, moisturizer, makeup, hair products, shampoo, conditioner, etc. And all of these contain chemicals and some of them can interact with our hormones. That may feel a little bit overwhelming to hijack your whole personal care regime. So I would encourage us to think, first of all, just about sunscreen. If you wanna take a deeper dive into this, check out the resources page. I have provided a link there for the Environmental Working Group and their website is dewg.org and they have great resources there if you wanna dive a little deeper. Right now, we're just gonna focus on sunscreen. You wanna avoid chemical-based sunscreens that act to disperse the sunshine like oxybenzoate, and you're looking instead for products that have a mineral-based sunscreen to reflect the light back off your skin. And that would be things like zinc or titanium. So as a general rule of thumb, you're looking for a mineral-based sunscreen with no phthalates and no parabens. The next place to check in with are the fragrances that we use in our house. Some people are using things like Glade air fresheners, air wicks. I notice them a lot when I get in a Lyft or an Uber. Um, some people use products like Febreze. Synthetic fragrances contain parabens and these can also be endocrine modulators. So if you don't like the way something smells at home, I would encourage you to um, use an essential oil diffuser, which would be a much more natural way to change the fragrance of your home. And hopefully we can all educate our Lyft and Uber drivers to not put chemicals around us when we can't escape them in a car. The last thing I'd like us to consider is the packaging that we use and how we serve and uh, consume our food. Many foods are packaged or are sold in plastics and even plastics that say they're BPA free still can have endocrine disruptors. So BPA is a chemical that's in a lot of plastics and it has an estrogen-like effect. These effects are magnified if we, let's say, have food in a plastic and then we heat it up or microwave it in the plastic. When you get the molecules moving around, there's more likely to have transfer of that estrogen-like substance to the food. So try to use stainless steel or glass water bottles and try to not heat your food up in plastic. Not use plastic containers for storage, particularly when the food is hot. Opt for like a Pyrex glass alternative. So there are many simple things that you can do to avoid toxins in your personal care regime, in your food packaging, and also in the fragrances that you use in your home. All of these changes can be little ways to help restore your hormone balance. Thanks so much for watching.